Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be talking about day two and three of E3 so far. Now, there's some really interesting games that have got me, like, really wanting to play, and some of them are really wanting to see, like, my favorite YouTubers or streamers play. So, I'm just going to start with Sony. Sony pretty much, like, set the bar, like, really high, and when I was inside Twitch chat just watching it, uh, there's a whole bunch of people spamming Sony save E3. Sony was pretty good at, during their whole like presentation and everything and showing everything off and like creating an epic opening for everyone. And the first game that Sony had showed off, well, when I got there, was pretty much uh, Days Gone. Days Gone was pretty amazing. It looked actually like pretty cool. I know they like showed the game off way before like E3 and everything. And now we're getting like more gameplay of it. It just looks so epic and I actually do want to play it. It looks so cool. The next they pretty much announced like a new God of War coming and you guys know I not really a huge fan of God of War. I mean I love the game like watching other people play it, but it's just not a game for like me. It's just pretty much what it is. Then they uh, showed Detroit Become Human when that looks pretty epic and looks like pretty much like you can create your own story and everything that actually looks pretty cool and Hollow was pretty much saying that it looks like it has a lot of replay value so that's actually a plus two then they showed off um, Uncharted the new one like where you play as a female character the um, Indian female character I think she is but I never played Uncharted before so I plan on actually playing that like pretty soon too then we're gonna get on to Ubisoft next because Ubisoft actually announced like a new Far Cry 5 and that got me like really hyped because it actually looked like pretty awesome and plus not only that it's co-op like story too. Finally a co-op story game that we can actually get into. Me and Hollow were planning on actually playing this just because it's story gameplay and we actually get to like make videos on it together. Because you guys know most games like Ubisoft makes. Because pretty much it's like, hey, you gotta play to a certain point to play with friends. Or you gotta play a single player just to get like certain equipment and everything. Then you go to multiplayer just because you got the equipment that your friends have and everything. Then they announced the crew too, which I kind of decided about. Because the crew actually is a fun-raising game. It's just that Ubisoft killed it with so much DLC. And I mean a lot of DLC. I'm really hoping they don't do the same thing with The Crew 2 because The Crew is a fun game. I just had to say that but like I said they killed it with all the DLCs. So hopefully 2 is like way better. Then they announced a game called Skulls and Bones which you guys know I'm a huge pirate fan. I'm definitely going to be playing this game. I already signed up for the beta and everything. Oh god I can't wait because Pirates are like my favorite thing just because they like plunder and you know sell the seven seas and everything and kind of ironic since I don't like the water. <laughs> then lastly from Ubisoft was that well actually caught my eye was pretty much Beyond Good and Evil 2 but I never played the Beyond Good and Evil 1 but 2 actually looks pretty epic and I definitely want to try it. The trailer was like pretty cool like fleshed out and had like great design and hoping the game is like that too but next I'm gonna get on to day three the reason I'm doing like these together because it'll be like a real short video if I didn't now I know you guys like longer videos most of the time but next was like Nintendo's conference which is pretty much gonna be the last one Nintendo really does not have any interesting games for me especially like for me to play because I don't own like the switch and everything because uh, between you and me, the Switch is just not the best console or like thing I can actually feel like I want to get into. But there was some pretty like cool games they announced. They announced Splatoon 2, which I'm not really into Splatoon, but it's a cool game. Uh, FIFA 18, which I'm not a huge sports game for fan, but you no, know, I play them like, like if I'm gonna do like a review on them, if they look like pretty interesting. The only sports game I ever like played was Ballers, well NBA Ballers, and that was pretty much it. Then they announced Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch 2, and the uh, two only Nintendo Switch games that got me like really wanted Nintendo Switch was um, 
ARMS, which is their new boxing game, and Pokémon Tournament um, Deluxe, which I want to play the Pokémon Tournaments because they actually look like a lot of fun and a lot of... It looks like a lot of fun me and Hollow can get into and start fighting each other, even though we're not the best at the I like fighting games, but I'm pretty decent. He's just... I don't know yet. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if you play a fighting game, we'll probably be evenly matched. Then, for their new games, they announced Xenoblade um, Chronicles 2, which I've never played. At, but Xenoblade looks pretty epic. It's sort of like Final Fantasy-like, so I was like, this is going to be pretty epic to play and watch. Then they announced a new Kirby, which I was actually surprised about, because I didn't expect them to like uh, release a new Kirby. Maybe some other people saw it coming, but I did not. But this one's so cool because you can play multiplayer and plus you can take over enemies, which is like actually pretty cool. So it looks like Nintendo's going with a lot of like cool like take over other enemies and stuff. Because Mario Odyssey, they showed off too. And that has you throwing a hat at people and Mario's like teleporting into like other enemies and becoming them. So that's gonna be like really awesome to like see. I definitely wanna watch uh, Dash XP play Super Mario Odyssey. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for it for his video when he uploads that. Oh yeah, they announced Metroid Prime 4, which I do love Metroid. I like the Metroid that was on like DS where you like play against each other and everything. That one was pretty much fun. I think it was like one of the um, Metroid Prime games. But that one's actually pretty dope. But that actually got me pretty excited even though they didn't show gameplay or I... At least I don't think they show gameplay for it. Because from what I've seen on the trailers it just looked like they just put up a screen and just said it's in the development. So that's actually pretty cool. And then they announced that Yoshi is getting his own game called Yoshi. And you play with like another friend too, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm loving the whole co-op things everybody's bringing out. Because co-op games are like my one of my favorites. Really hope they like do a good job on most of these games. Then they announced Fire Emblem Warriors, which was kind of weird, but kind of cool. Because... Because I never played like a Fire Emblem game. I did plan on playing like the mobile game, but I can never get it on emulator, which I gotta keep searching for. So if I could pretty much just get it on my uh, emulator and I can show you guys the mobile version, I'm pretty much gonna do that and show it off for you guys. Then the last one, which was kind of weird, but you guys know I love real time strategy games, it was Mario uh, Raditz uh, Kingdom Battle, which actually looks pretty cool too. Because, uh, it got, you got me. I love real-time strategy games. Like, it actually looked pretty cool, but at the same time, it actually looked, like, kind of derpy. So, that kind of got me interested. Because I love silly games as well. But, that's pretty much it that I saw for, um, day two and three that actually caught my eye. And I'm actually looking forward to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Sony did... Uh, talk about another game before they like ended up the whole spider-man thing uh, spider-man looks like really good cannot wait for it you can still swing in the middle of the cities good old spider-man but the thing that most people probably don't understand is the like little cutscene they left behind it if you guys don't know who that was pretty much Miles Morales so yeah that was a sneak peek into him so I'm really hoping that Miles get his, gets his own game I'm really hoping that he gets his own game one day. But at the moment, it looks like he'll be inside the Spider-Man game that's coming out. That would be, like, pretty epic to see. But with that said, guys, uh, the games I'm looking forward to mostly off of everything I just said was um, Days Gone, Spider-Man, uh, The Crew 2, at Far Cry 5, and Last but not least, uh, Skull and Bones and, and Beyond Good and Evil 2. That's pretty much the ones I'm like extremely hyped for and can't wait for. But I gotta say, day two and three gave a lot of people hope and everything, and it was like pretty awesome. I can't wait for more, and I'm pretty sure you guys can't either. But I believe you guys with that, 
and I'm going to enjoy some more like E3 stuff and keep on watching. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.